Hello, Summoners. Welcome to another exciting, Tower of Saviors video. Today, let's delve into the All Max 2024 tickets, where everyone is pondering whom to pick. This year's, Selectable All Max Seal Draw, event differs from last year. In this edition, each summoner has the freedom to choose any character from the special card pool, ensuring that the selected character comes at level max, skill level max, and amelioration max. This video can also serve as a guide for the giveaway boost event, as we will discuss numerous characters, with a particular focus on the new era novelty series. Stay tuned as we explore and consider various options for your team. First of all, you can take your time choosing the card since the ticket expires on May 19th but can be collected until April 21st. This gives you ample time for random pulls or to wait for future leaders with optimal member cards. The card pool includes characters from past independent drawing machines, excluding crossover and exclusive black gold characters. Second, you don't need to choose gold Asteria cards with this all max ticket, as these characters are available in the game and obtainable for free. These cards, containing the characters in the picture, can be acquired from seals eventually, making them unnecessary choices with your ticket. Third, in the era of novelty jackpots, many summoners know that the majority of these cards are often considered low-quality cards. But some of them are popular ones like Melody, Chloe, Lelania, Shakespeare, or Kang Bai. It's mentioned that they can be guaranteed through the Voyager's Recollection seal for 100 diamonds. These cards are crucial, and it's advised to save up as the seal will be available throughout the entire year. However, this guarantee applies only to jackpot cards, and sub-jackpot cards aren't assured. This is the main reason why Renee is highly recommended since you can't really get her any other way. Lastly, you are concerned about diamond cost and eager for the jackpot era of novelty character, using the ticket as an option. Now, let's dive into the details of these characters. First of all Demon Races, Napoleon leads two play styles, Fire Team and Demon Team. First is Renee in Fire Team, one of the Dark Horse members in all maps. The pros of her skills not need to say which are Hyper State, Recover HP and Cooldown Mechanisms. This makes Napoleon use his skill frequently. Second Keanu, the pros of her skills are to restore crack positions, Skydrop and apply Poison Buff to enemy. Her main use is restoring crack position in fire team is not that much fire members have this ability. Third Amaterasu, the pro is absorbing enemy damage for two rounds. Especially certain enemy have high damage incoming with defense break. This makes Napoleon high damage reduction become invisible so he need this kind of skill to increase his survivability in the game. Next demon team members, first Samli and Tokugawa, both of them have similar team skill Euclid where we will mention this card as well. Both of them are used to increase Demon Team basic HP. This team skill are their pros, which let the Napoleon team have extra HP to grind and handle more damage from enemy in future stage. Second Lancelot. The pros of this card are making heart runes, ignoring the initial shield personal and then adding extra combo. He used mostly to produce heart runes, especially Napoleon skill 1, which didn't have any heart runes in the board. He also has team skills, which we can use his skill at the beginning of the stage. Third Nastuhiko. The pro of this card is used as a permanent multiplier in the demon team. It also can add extra 6 combo when he closed his active skill. Fourth Achilles. The pro of this card is used for launching extra fire attacks, especially nowadays. The enemy stage keeps having 30 or attributes launching attack requirements like 35 so Achilles here to help Napoleon can easily solve this kind of shield. Alright, this is it for demon races. Now let's go on to human races. For human races not that much to talk as the majority of them are from collaboration and their team formation also use their own series. So let's see the first one, which is our Jotaro team. For the Jotaro team, only one member to suggest is Cassandra. The card pro is to solve recovery inversion in the Jotaro team. Although Zeppelin has this kind of shield solver but this skill is limited to Jonathan as the leader will have zero recovery. So, the other team still needs Cassandra to help to have zero recovery. Don't forget that this card is available in Gold Asteria Banner. Next Kirido team. First Renee. How good her skill not need for me to say right. Can let Kirido keep using his Starburst stream. Second Medea. 
The pro of this card is used as permanent multiplier that gives extra damage and leader can ignore Quint Elemental Shield, which Kirito when equipped dual wielding sword. Not only that, Medea is also a replacement of Yui if Yui is limited to enter the stage. She is also available in Gold Asteria Banner as well. Third Arthur. The pro of this card is giving fixed board, extra damage and Arthur also have cooldown when Arthur and NKH in the team. For this, team skill is only used when Kirito facing crucial stages. Arthur also available in Gold Asteria Banner. For fourth members is Lynx. The pro of this card can easily solve 30 attributes accumulate like 30 water and so on. This is what Kirito has his own series lacking on. Next, Gojo team. So first member Cassandra. There is no need to say an important member in Gojo counter recovery inversion. Second Snow White. The pro of this card is immune. Check approaching area damage, which Gojo team kinda afraid to face. Although most of the time, we use Kugasaki to counter the Shekkrochung area but sometimes Snow would be better to use. Those still playing the Gojo team can still pick Snow as members. Alright, this is it for human races. Now let's go on to Machina races. Euclid, first member for Joy team. The important HP pack in Machina team, which given 2.5 HP bonus when both leader and ally are Machina. Not only that recharge craft, which can let Joy have cooldown in the beginning of the round. Have Joy Team, this is the member that must pick. Next Shamash Team. For Makana members can pick Noble as Noble have fixed board like Gojo skill which is good to use. For God members, Shakespeare is one of the great God members to pick in the Shamash Team as she has a permanent multiplier, extra combo, restore board to normal, and ignores puzzle shield when deactivate her skill. I can say one card has different ways to solve certain shield. Coming on is Aurea and Babylon God series. For Aurea, she has a permanent multiplier, can launch attributes when dissolving and recovers HP. This skill is suitable for Shamash high damage reduction to grind with enemy. Just like Kar's ultimate stage, while Babylon God series is used to solve launch attributes and they also have a time tunnel skill that is useful to solve character room traffic light and number shield. Next, Kasiel. She is the shortest card that can explode unwanted runes. Although Shamash has cooldown mechanisms but sometimes Kasiel will help in the team when facing cooldown reset in first round. For Sukuyomi, her pros is a permanent time tunnel skill that can on and close freely. How useful this skill does not need for me to say. Easily solve mask trail, number runes and character runes fixed combo without any worries and reduce error rate of summoners. The best card to those still Pratis spinning skill. Next, Autumn Team. First Renee. For the reason I can say Autumn has Hyper State, which means that Renee's skills are suitable to put in her team to speed up Autumn's skill cooldown round. While Euclid also has the same function to all Machina leaders. For Shakespeare and Aurea does not need to for me to say much on their skills. Let's look at Harvard, the reason why I put him because Autumn damage is easily depleted, especially when facing fire and light can't dissolve. As Harvard's skill can record the damage and deal the same damage in next round. This makes Autumn Team can easily counter enemy skill that makes fire and light can't dissolve. Alright, this is it for Machina races. Now let's go on to God races. For God races, first is Prometheus Team. The God members can pick as UTU. The reason is she can produce God Rune, which is important for the Prometheus Team. Although her active skill solving shield is repeated with Prometheus but UTU can unlock the skill of god members and record the board, especially the board lack of god runes. Not only that, UTU is also a team skill that lets fire god members have a cooldown after entering the stage. Next, Shakespeare is mostly used to let Prometheus team ignore puzzle shield, restore the board and generate god runes according. God members attributes. For Cassiel. The shortest CD card to explode unwanted rune, full board of god runes and extra damage for god and elf members, which makes her suit in Prometheus team. But only things have to alert that Prometheus makes god runes can dissolve singly, which include the surrounding runes so Cassiel skill protect runes still can be dissolved as Cassiel give full board of god runes. Next Chiyu team. First member Renee can speed up Chiyu active skill cooldown time to let Chiyu use his active skill frequently. As Chiyu has fixed board, I guess that no one doesn't like it, right? Next, UTU does not need to say Chiyu team, 
one of the important members set up to let Chiyu can use his skill faster and give extra damage, record Chiyu board and unlock fire and god members skill. Kasi L, can be used when Chiyu is facing cooldown reset, which can explode unwanted runes and extra damage for god members in the beginning of the round. Shakespeare also used to ignore puzzles in Chiyu team and another permanent multiplier of god members. Alright, this is it for god races. Now let's go on to beast races. For beast races, although I just pick members for Nero only, other beast leaders like Caesar, Habir and Harvard can say almost the same members used in the team. So the first member is Renee. Everyone knows that Nero is EP character. EP character can't share the cooldown mechanisms from Renee's skill, but I still suggest Renee. It is because we can use the cooldown mechanism to be applied to other members and let them support the Nero team. Another detail that I think everyone didn't know that much which is Nero is the first EP card in Beast Races, through this details I can say that Nero members mostly are CD type, so we use Renee to speed the members and let assist the Nero team. Next, Dadga. One card that 4 effect. His skills have ignored the initial shield, recovery 0, reduced enemy damage to 0 and then cool down other beast members for 1 round. He can help Nero counter recovery inversion, initial shield and block deadly damage if Nero damage reduction didn't work. Coming on Behemoth, he has a team skill that let beast members have skill cooldown for 2 rounds after entering the stage. This helps beast members in Nero team use their active skill faster if needed at the beginning of the stage. Next Midi. The pro of Midi helps Nero solve protect runes problems as we know Nero both skills are remove and restore rune to normal state. This makes Nero have a hard time dealing with Protect Runes and Beast Race currently doesn't have a card that can not produce Protect Runes. So Midi skill is turning runes according to Beast Columns, which help Nero easily solve Protect Runes. Not only that, Midi also gave a fixed board to Nero team, which led us easily to spin. For Harvard, there is no need for me to say his skill used to record damage that can help Nero when facing the enemy that has cooldown reset on CD and EP. This helps Nero during active skill reset and no skill to use situation. Next, Hugo. The pro of this card is to have two rounds of time tunnel after deactivating his skill. This helps us easily to spin character runes with assigned fixed combo. He also has a permanent multiplier for the team, but the time tunnel is still Hugo pro. Next, Links. The pro of this card is to solve accumulated attributes runes just as 30 water and so on. At the same time, Lynx also gives extra time to damage for beast members. Last, Feiyun. She is available in Gold Asteria Banner. The pro of this card is to solve crack position and solve bomb damage in beast team. She is the only card that can restore crack position in beast team. Alright, this is it for beast races. Now let's go on to dragon races. For dragon races, two strong leaders, which are Azathoth and Twin Dragon. The first member can pick as Bahamut which is useful to solve fixed combo shields, unlock dragon skill and burning damage. Not only that, Bahamut also has a cool team skill with dragon members, which is HP pack and cooldown one round for other dragon members. Next, Washi. He is one of the important dragon teams. The pros can launch attributes in dragon teams and let selected runes dissolve singly or more. This makes dragon team easier to solve number groups of attributes. Coming on Hong Ai. She has fixed board, ignores trio and quint elemental shield, extra damage and then restores board to normal state. For Lelania, one of the time tunnel skill and clearing tornado for two rounds. Azathoth sometimes needs her skill to clear tornado while twin dragon uses her skill for time tunnel. How useful is the time tunnel not needed for me to say, right? Next Kang Bai, the most special card in the dragon team. He can speed up dragon skill cooldown round give one round extra multiplier when he transform. I can say that in the hard stage you will see him frequently. Next, Jichen. The same function with Harvard that is used to record the damage when enemy have cooldown reset or resistance attributes runes increase especially as if the team quite needed him. Coming on Copper Bullet and Piazza. Both of them are defensive skill which mostly used in the Azathoth team. For Copper Bullet, he can dodge enemy attack for one round and give an extra multiplier in the next round. Not only that, his awakening recall skill is good to use as well, which can 20% recover in every round. The makes Azathoth team can grind with the enemy, 
While Piazza is 40% damage reduction when active the skill, if we can fulfill the requirements we can have this permanent damage reduction in the team. Next, Fire Kang Bai, another card that solves the initial shield. Not only that, he also can let water and fire runes dissolve singly or more to solve more group attributes runes I Azathoth team or Twin Dragon team. Lastly, these two cards are available in Gold Asteria Banner. Both of them are frequently seen members in the Azathoth team. First Dowler. The important member in the Azathoth team, which Azathoth have light runny share effect in team. Other pros are Ignore's Trio and Quint Elemental Shield, Extra Combo and Personal High Multiplied. This skill can go under 3 rounds. Next, Honor. He given fixed board that consists of light and heart and extra damage. The pro is he can solve the same type attributes shield and solve the number of heart runes dissolving shield in the dragon team. Alright, this is it for dragon races. Now let's go on to elf races. For elf races, last year, there were a lot of leaders who joined in this race, which is Power Release Elfish Prenarial Series, Alo Kirito and his gang and Pandora Power Release. Now, let's see which elf members are good to pick. First Jaw. The pro of this card which can remove tornado, clear frozen runes, turn runes to wanted runes, extra damage and have cooldown on herself when dissolve more than 30 runes. Not only that, she also has a team skill with her sister, Zavra, who can give extra HP boss to elf team. Second Keanu, for her pros are restore crack position especially those without Alo Asuna. Keanu is the second option to counter crack position. Not only that, she also gives extra skydrop to team as well. Third Sakura. She also can use as leader only her damage is lower than Pandora. But her active skill are good to use. These are pros of her skill are ignored all elemental shield, fixed board for 2 rounds, restored board to normal and extra damage for elf teams. Especially her fixed board to round are good to use and solve same attributes rune shield for elf team. Fourth Angelina. She can be a leader as well. These are pros of her skill are ignored equal combo shield, petrify enemy, restore the board to normal state, add races runes and extra damage for 2 rounds. She is the first elf card ignore equal combo shield and her petrify buff is controlling skill as well. Coming on Andromeda, the pros of her skill are launching attributes damage according to runes dissolve and during deactivation her skill she will give us fixed runes of 5 attributes and heart. This makes us easily solve elemental shield as attributes runes and heart are fixed amount. Next Melody. Her pros are the same with Tsukuyomi, but she brings extra damage when leaders or elf or god members. She also turns one row of heart and this makes us easily solve the same type attributes shield enemy. Next Su Daji. Her pros are giving extra damage, countdown type time tunnel and her skill also can dodge enemy damage for one round. Next Diamond. His pros are giving extra damage and block deadly damage from enemy for 2 rounds. His skill is not only limited to the elf team. If others are able to put him in the team, they can also use this skill as well. Next Rose. Her pros are removing 2 rows of rune, ignoring the puzzle shield, giving hearts, have extra multiplier on damage and in recovering for elf members and she has cooldown mechanisms that let her skill be used frequently. Last is our Cornflower. His pros are exploding unwanted runes, ignoring the anti-shield when the team only has elf members, add combo, have extra damage and recovery and last combo nullify. Although certain elf leaders can ignore anti-shield, but Cornflower can still help to adjust the board so we can spin easily without any worries. Alright, this is it. Character details are covered, if I missed mentioning some good ones in the video, don't worry, they're still useful. Nowadays. The team needs members with different shield solving abilities as priority that the team passes the stage easily. Thanks for tuning in. Just a quick reminder. Take it slow with your all max tickets. Start with era novelty sub jackpot cards, then era novelty jackpot, and finally, the independent series cards. As independent series will come to your inventory, which might surprise you. If you enjoyed the tips, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more gaming insights. Happy gaming, and catch you in the next one.